We get the U.S. jobs report today in just a few hours, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. The data could show a slowdown in the pace of hiring. Joining us now is Michael McKee, Bloomberg International Economics and Policy Correspondent. Well, could show the, down, the, the slowdown, could. but and that's the hope that it's going to from, yeah. from the markets. Are, are we going to get there? Well, it's all relative, of course, because when we're talking about 195,000 jobs is the forecast, that is still a significant number, yeah. and it is far above the number that uh, economists say you need to fill the replacements, uh, all the people who come into the labor force each month. So we'll see whether we go down or not. Unemployment expected to tick up just a little bit. And we are going to be watching average hourly earnings because the Fed's going to be watching average hourly earnings. But I tell you, Critty, if you're a momentum trader and you had 13 up days in a row on a stock, you might want to buy into it. Yeah. We've had 13 up months on non-farm payrolls. For 13 months in a row, payrolls have come in higher than the Bloomberg consensus. And so uh, maybe you want to think uh, that is a, a good bet today. The whisper number on Wall Street, according to uh, Bloomberg's whisper function, is 226. So uh, Wall Street leaning mm. towards the idea that we're going to get a 14th month in a row. Okay. Whis go, I think, W-H-I-S, isn't it? The function to find those might get. Yeah. Incredible yep. run then for that payrolls number. How much weakness do we need to see in the jobs market? Uh, not that anybody uh, in an abstract sense wants to see weakness, but how much will we need to see or is the Fed thinking we need to see to tr weigh down on inflation? Well, they'd like to see the unemployment rate start to rise and uh, suggesting that the labor market is cooling and at the same time you might see average hour earnings grow a little bit more slowly and that's their goal. We're running at a 4.4% average uh, rate each month, uh, annual average, and they'd like to get that down to 3 to 3.5%. Three but the numbers that have been coming in lately have just shown us very uh, strong labor market remains. We had that jolts report that the Fed relies on come in over 10 million again. And of course, uh, ADP this week, a e even the ISM manufacturing numbers came in stronger than expected for employment. So it looks like uh, the odds are still stacked against the Fed getting getting what it wants out of the labor market.